Hello and welcome to my channel Jo Show the Truly Delights. Today I'm going to be making a Bengali style stuffed parval. I'm going to be using about 250 grams of parval, a cup of soaked chana dal, a cup of tomato puree, 3 to 4 tablespoons of poppy cashew nut paste, about 3 to 4 tablespoons of coconut green chili ginger paste, a bay leaf, 2 tablespoons of dhania powder, a tablespoon of jeera powder, 2 tablespoons of garam masala powder, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, some salt to taste, about a teaspoon of sugar, 2 teaspoons of panchpuran spice mix, 2 green cardamoms, 3 cloves, a small piece of cinnamon, some desiccated coconut, some chopped coriander leaves and oil to shallow fry. You can find a detailed recipe in the description box below. First, I'm going to snip off the ends of the parval and peel the skin in alternate sections. This will help in retaining the shape of the parval when cooked and prevent it from getting mashed. Once that's done, I'm going to be carefully scooping out the seeds and the inner core from all the parvals and setting them aside. Now I'm going to drain out all the water from the chana dal and add it to a mixer jar. To this, I'm going to be adding a little bit of the coriander leaves and some desiccated coconut. I'm going to grind this to a coarse paste. In a pan, I'm going to add a spoonful of oil and add a teaspoon of panchpuran spice to it. To this, I'm adding the ground chana dal. I'm going to add a teaspoon of dhania powder, half a teaspoon jeera powder, a teaspoon of garam masala powder, a pinch of turmeric and some salt to taste. I'm going to cook this mixture till the chana dal is not sticky and well done. Now I'm going to add the remaining desiccated coconut powder to this and allow the mixture to cool. Now that the mixture is cooled, I'm going to stuff it into the parval, making sure to fill it up well and seal the edges. I'm going to repeat this with all the parvals I have. Now in a cooking pot, I'm going to take about 4 to 5 tablespoons of oil for shallow frying and drop in the parvals one by one into it. Cook them well by turning them at regular intervals. I think I'm going to cook it with the lid on for about a couple of minutes. There, the parvals look done, so I'm going to take it out onto a plate. In the same pot in the remaining oil, I'm going to be adding the bay leaf, the green cardamom, the cloves, the cinnamon and leave it there for a moment. Then, I'm going to add the panchforan mix and allow all of them to splutter together, giving it a good mix. Now, I'm going to be adding in my tomato puree. And I'm going to cook it till the oil slightly separates. Now I'm going to add the salt and the remaining dry spices. The turmeric powder. The jeera powder. The dhania powder. The garam masala powder. And sugar. And I'm going to give it a quick mix. Now I'm going to add the coconut, green chilli and ginger paste and mix it well and allow it to cook for another 2-3 to three minutes. The gravy is coming together beautifully. Now I am going to add the poppy cashew nut paste, mix it and cook it for another couple of minutes. It's time to add in the parval pieces. I am going to cover this and cook it for another 5-7 to seven minutes. There, looks good and smells great. I'm adding the chopped coriander leaves, giving it a good mix and it's ready to serve. 
I hope you enjoyed watching this and until I bring you something new yet again don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel Joe show the drooly delights and leave me a comment below